Yo, good evening. What up? What's up, everybody? Yep, I've been missing for about a week now. Not good. But I had to attend to some issues with pertaining to my aunt and her illness. So, yeah, just one of my favorite aunts. So, as you know, I'm not going to say I have a favorite aunt because all of them are my favorite. But this aunt specifically is very close to my heart. Kind of right now battling with uh, illness when it comes to cancer. And that kind of... Um, threw me off and even turning on my PC you know but um, this new video I'm bringing to you the newly updated Peterbilt 379 from Big Dog this is my favorite 379 in American Truck Simulator there. I'm gonna leave a link to this truck in the description description section of my channel just telling you guys a reminder in case y'all gonna always be asking like link for this and that always I even put at the top of the section the description as I said I am I always posted saying read description that's the reason why I posted that in the description section that's the topic of the description part of my channel read description there's everything it pertaining to the video and whatnot before you even ask in the comment section please it's kind of annoying let's read the description please and yeah this is big dogs new 379 newly updated for a direct x11 which almost well everyone once you're gonna go to the new update of American Truck Simulator, you're gonna have to go to the 1.36. Direct X 11 is mandatory. No questions asked. Direct X 9 is a thing in the past. Alright, so just if you have any mods that's not updated for Direct X 11, well, it, it's, it's gonna be needing a little bit of an update because 1.36 is Utah Utah alright and Direct X11 is mandatory so the really there's not really any cons when it comes to Direct X11 just pros first of all the FPS Direct X9 requires so much more of your PC than Direct X11 right Direct X9 was a resource hog. You can hardly run anything in Direct X9 without lags. But Direct X11 has minimum, few to little, even none at times when it comes to like lags and stuff like that. Now I'm recording, so you will have a little bit of a lag spike now and then, but it's not noticeable. And also, if you're wondering what section of the, um, I'm in New Mexico, right? But these little cities and stuff like this is MHA Pro map. It's a map add-on. If you want this map mod, which ever most people know what's MHA. It has like new cities. Main thing it has is new cities in game like truck stops are not really that sparsely um, generated anymore it's like a lot of trucks parked um, it has new um, companies as well I think and you should just have to get it to see what I'm talking about it just had, just had a lot more to ATS and oh, the pain job on this 379 is crazy normally oh the skybox excuse me I'm back I was losing my voice a little bit there I was saying the skybox for this new direct direct x11 compatible is 
from JBX. This is not, again, this is not SES. This is uh, from JBX Graphics. That will also be in the description part of the channel. So don't ask. JBX Graphics Mod. All the information on installing it, you will get from him. Alright? Cost me $15. It's not free. Most of the stuff that I have is not free because, yeah. It seems like as if the paid stuff has more things and uh, more quality because yo ever since I've got this JBS graphics mod I've been hooked on ATS because the, the first of all the graphics overall not just the skybox the graphics saturation level is not that colorful again it's like a little bit toned down to look more realistic so yeah, and I'm a big fan when it comes to graphics. I ain't gonna play no game if the graphics ain't tip top. But uh, yeah, and this truck now I'm running a 550 Cat E15. Came with the truck also. This is supposed to be an 18 speed gearbox from Ethan Fuller, but really I'm just getting 16 maximum. Right? Just getting 16 maximum. That's kind of weird. Not sure what's happening there. If it's something wrong with the gearbox or what, but I'm getting 16. But well, I'm just cruising right now, just to to free my mind, you know. Can't really function well since late because, as I told you, that my aunt has cancer, and that's kind of like bugging me. That's got my anxiety on a all different level y'all normally when you hear people have cancer that's not really closely related to you or stuff like that or not your friend or family or whatnot you just kind of shrug it off and say oh man i just hope they recover or, you know they get better and stuff like that but when it comes to like close to you man it kind of it really kind of buggy like you're in a dream, you know, especially with someone that you love, you know, you don't feel like yourself anymore, but that's why I up on it, because I was like really done and I didn't feel like doing any video, but then I remember that ATS is what like got me through the phase when I had bad depression and anxiety. Because you already know that anxiety and depression, you know, crazy. It's a mental disorder, you know. The thing which I've been seeing from makes you feel like you're not even in your own body. And this city also, um, in Encino, um, I doubt it's SES city. Yeah, that's MHA. Yo, just look at the graphics, you know. Just makes the game even more worthwhile playing. Crazy skybox. Just look at the default skybox compared to this that I'm using right now JBXL crazy crazy and Big Dog did a tremendous job yo because I know modding ain't easy yo pressure because modding is like you fix one thing and another problem arises that's how modding is it's trials and errors yo so Big Dog thanks for sharing this tree sentiment more and also it comes with skins you can just like change it's color changeable uh, most of them are color changeable about two of them alone you really can't change the color but it doesn't really matter yeah so we're just gonna just ride out the rest of this video just gonna chill gonna drive complete this trip See you guys in the next video I'm just gonna go mute now and enjoy the rest of the drive Alright, like, subscribe, and share. Correct? Can't wait for you to. I need to do this live stream. The reason why I haven't been live streaming as yet, inconsistency and the fluctuation of my internet is driving me nuts. Speed is up. I'm getting like 5 megabyte upload and like 100 down, but like it just disconnects and connects at times. The reason why I haven't been live streaming as yet connect more with you guys but I'm working on it and 
enjoy the rest of the video bye